ITWeb's 9th Annual Security Summit provided a platform for both local and international industry experts and analysts to share their experiences and strategies to safeguard one's enterprise. Offering various workshops and tailored tracks, the event gave delegates unique insight on all the latest tools and techniques designed to combat cybercrime and circumvent security breaches, with over 30 conference sessions and a comprehensive expo showcasing leading solutions and service suppliers. The IT Web Security Summit is a pivotal date in the InfoSec calendar. Now we're here at the IT Web uh, Security Summit, uh, here to promote our company and our brand. We are here to provide resources on our security. Databases are traditionally very neglected in terms of security and we bring in all the solutions to protect your database. It's a valuable opportunity for Trend Micro South Africa to be able to meet their existing customers and of course most importantly to be able to meet new customers. We're here at the summit to showcase what products our company uh, provides and our vendors. And yeah, hope everyone enjoys the workshops as well. Today we are showcasing our spam site and our website and products. And we're delighted to be here. Fantastic show, fantastic location and stands. Well, we've been here for a few years now and every year it grows. So it's been a really good experience for us because we get to speak to our customers all in one place. And I have to say the content uh, presented on stage gets more and more compelling year on year. I think I too have put a lot of effort into vetting the speakers as well as the content they're presenting. So they're not pitches, they're more so educational, which is what people come here for at, at the end of the day. Our first presentation for the day is going to be uh, Product Swat, uh, Information Security Specialist. I'm not going to read what is it, an incredibly impressive curriculum in detail. Suffice it to say that he's an independent computer, uh, computer security researcher and a core member of the uh, talk project in Jacob Bunny that you're going to throw us, entertain us. Welcome. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. We have to think about pervasive monitoring and exploitation in a different light. We have to reconsider the way that the legal regimes are enabling these things. My boss is uh, one of Snowden's lawyers, and so you might imagine that I have a particular perspective uh, on, on these surveillance issues that have come to light in the last year. It's not really about what are the foreign, what are those other intelligence services doing. It's what access do they have. Um, and as long as the U.S. continues to maintain that huge advantage in terms of market share, in terms of Silicon Valley companies dominating uh, various parts of the economy, uh, the U.S. Is, will just have a, a natural advantage because of its access. The point is we should start looking more seriously you know, into the security space. Security is always perceived as a cost. It has always been like that okay, in the past few years. We really need to start shifting some of those dollars uh, towards advanced protection and really build uh, architectures uh, for security from the perspective of assuming you're going to be breached or let's do the best job we can keeping the bad stuff out of our environments but it will get in and so when it does we got to keep the good stuff inside of it. We can use active defense techniques which look from a technology standpoint at how to design systems assuming that, that the environment has already been breached rather than working under the illusion that you can keep attackers out, bring in the legal and the financial aspects that will help us to truly change the economics and break the, the business model of organized malware. 